Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chrisanna and I like to do makeup here on my YouTube channel. I have a super amazing video today and I'm super excited to try it. So we're going to be testing the Morphe and James Charles eyeshadow palette. Give you guys a look. Super pretty, but there's also a twist to this. I will be comparing to the Fantasy Changeable eyeshadow palette. This is what this one looks like. So this is going to be a dupe video. I am going to give you guys a side-by-side -side so you guys can see my vision of how much they look alike. So, um, the Fantasy palette is up here and the James palette is down here. Can you guys actually see how much they look alike? I mean, isn't it super crazy? So we have an $11.99 one here and then we have a $26 one here. This is actually the mini James Charles palette. I did not get the full size because who needs a palette that large? Um, so this is really cool because the pan sizes are actually very similar in size. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump right in. I did notice that, um, like the purples and the James and this one, the James purples are a little more cool tone and the fantasy one are a little more warm tone. But other than that, a lot more of the shades, um, like up in this range are a lot alike. So we are going to jump right in with this dupe video. First things first, I'm going to prime my eyes. So personal preference for me would be concealer. I really don't like primer. I feel like it leaves too much of a tacky base. So my concealer, I'm going with the CoverGirl. This is in the shade Fair Porcelain. Just a couple of dabs right on my eyes. Going to take my mini beauty sponge to blend that in. Priming the eyes is a major thing when you want your eyeshadow to stick and go on very well. So we're going to be doing the James Charles on my left side and the fantasy one on my right. So my left is your left and my right is your right. Just because I am using my phone and I do have a front facing camera for the simple fact that when I do the rear facing camera, I do not like how my face looks. I do not like how it always looks tilted. So I'm waiting for my camera to come in the mail. So that way I can give you guys full HD, good, amazing quality videos. And that way everything doesn't look backwards because if you can tell, um, from the writing on this it looks backwards and I do apologize for that so the brushes I'm going to be using today are also going to be um, Morphe and James Charles Morphe and Jaclyn Hill and then just Morphe brushes just because I have used these and I did not like them when I used them the last time so I'm going to give them all a fair chance now I did like the Jaclyn and Hill and Morphe ones but for the James Charles and Morphe I didn't like them as much so first shadow in the Morphe palette I'm going to jump into is going to be the shade canvas and this is going to go all over my lid for that, I'm using an M441 brush. So this color is just going to be setting my base. So once again, um, James Charles palette on the left eye. Dipping into my color switch, cleaning all that off. Now for the Fantasy palette, this is the first shade I'm going to be dipping into. Using the same brush and just packing that once again all over the lid. Dipping back into the James Charles palette, I'm going to be picking up this shade right here, and this is called Tune. It is a lighter yellow shade. For that, I'm just using a Morphe blending brush. This shade is going to go just a little above my crease. Softly swiping side to side, a little above that crease. Just to give a smooth transition for everything else to go on the lid. And I am blending my way down also into the crease. Once I've officially packed it above the crease, slowly moving my way down. So I am dipping my brush again because I do want to build this color up just a tad bit more. Going back into my color switch, cleaning that all off. Dipping into the same shade in the Fantasy palette. Doing the same thing a little above the crease. Also bringing down to the crease a little bit. Um, so far I am noticing that the changeable palette, the yellow is a little bit more vibrant than the James Charles one. Back into the James Charles palette, I'm now going to be picking up the shade Mary. For that, I am using a JH32 brush. And I'm kind of just going to be packing this in my crease, but ever, ever so lightly. Just so we can blend it well 
with the yellow shade. Also packing that a little on the outer V as well. So I'm not really actually blending. I'm not actually rubbing. I'm kind of more like patting. Patting back and forth. By doing this very lightly, um, you're not going to put so much pigment into one place. It's going to be spread out evenly for the most part. Going back into my color switch, cleaning that all off. Now picking up this shade in the Fantasy palette. Going to be doing the same thing. Patting ever so lightly. Starting with the middle, moving back and forth. So for me, I do like to raise my eyebrows up just a smidge. That way I know exactly where I'm placing it when my eyes are closed or looking down. So far, I'm noticing that the James Charles palette is blending a lot better. The Mary and the um, yellow color are blending a lot more better than the Fantasy one. Stamping that right on the outer V as well. We are going to go back in a little later and put some um, different colors to blend those two out a little better. Now I'm going to dip into Code James. For that, I'm using a JH33 brush. And this color is going directly into my crease. Once again, starting in the middle and patting. And I've learned for myself that patting actually helps the colors blend better for me. But once again, personal preference. Because I feel like when I just constantly rub back and forth, it's not doing anything but leaving harsh lines, in my opinion. Also bringing that readout to the outer V. Going back into my color switch. Cleaning that all off. Taking this shade in the Fantasy Changeable palette. Doing the same thing, putting that directly into the crease. Once again, just tapping padding motions. Raising up the eyebrow. Packing a little on the outer V as well. Um, so what do you guys think so far? Comment down in the comment box below and tell me if you can see like a huge difference. Because as of right now, I know that you can't really tell a difference. Um, we are going to test it a little bit more when we get into the darker colors and also the shimmers. Going back into the James palette, I'm dipping into the shade Boutique. For that, I'm using an M443 brush. So once again, ever so lightly packing that right into the outer V. Just very, very lightly because I want these colors to blend well. I do not want to leave any harsh lines. So just ever so lightly packing that outer V. Taking the leftover product from that color and just kind of swiping it over. Just kind of swiping it all over so there's no harsh lines. Back into my color switch, cleaning all that product off. Now I'm dipping into this color from the Fantasy Palette. Doing the exact same thing, going to build up that outer V, just tapping motions, slowly but surely, if you guys can see, um, the color is getting a little bit darker. We want this to be a slow process. We do not want to rush this. If you guys can see, I am having to build this color up on the Fantasy Palette a lot more than I was on the Morphe one. Far not a major um, difference. So for me, this is a mistake I've made lots of times in the past. Instead of 
bringing my eyeshadow over here. I used to keep it over here and I always would look super funny. So I've learned to kind of drag that out a little bit. Because if not, if you put like winged liner or something and the eyeshadow doesn't extend with it, it's going to probably look really funny. So once again, just going to drag that over just to take away any harsh lines, no extra product. Um, so far, you guys, I'm really liking how these are both working. I think they're both working pretty well. Um, I would say with the Morphe, it is a little more pigmented with the last color we used. But other than that, um, the Fantasy is doing really good too. Um, comment down in the comment box below and let me know what you guys are thinking. If you think they're similar, um, which one you like better. I think now we're actually going to go in for some shimmer. We might go back and um, tweak with the eyeshadows a little more and blend them out. But we're going to see how it looks with the shimmer first. Now for shimmer, dipping back into the Morphe palette, we're going to grab this gold shade that's called So Good. Using an M124 brush, we're going to pack this on three-fourths of the lid. So since the sparkle isn't going on all too well, I'm just going to grab my Morphe setting spray and just spray just a little bit just so we can get that pigment. So far, I'm really digging this look. I'm going to go back in my color switch, clean off all that sparkle. This is so good. I haven't ever really actually used a real color switch. I've always kind of used the cheaper ones. And this one, compared to the cheaper ones, is like hands down amazing. It actually really takes all the product off the brushes, if you can tell. So now, of course, going in with the Fantasy Palette, I'm taking the third shade over, this gold shade. Same thing, putting on three-fourths of my lid, grabbing my Morphe Setting Mist, and just a couple sprays. And we're going to start packing that on there. Um, right now, you guys, for the sparkle, I think I'm going to have to give it to the Fantasy Palette. Just because it is a lot more pigmented and it goes on a lot better. The James Charles one does get off more of like a bright gold. Um, you know, the Fantasy is more of like a lighter gold, but it has lots more pigment to it. But um, right now, they're both looking pretty bomb, you guys. It's pretty even. So I'm going back in with the JH33 brush, and I'm going to grab some more of a Mary. Get that directly right back into the crease just to kind of blend the gold and the crease color together a little better. Going back into my color switch, cleaning that all off. Going back in with the same color in the Fantasy palette. Doing the exact same thing, putting that back into the crease. So far, you guys, this is super hard for me because I am really loving them both. I think they're both amazing palettes. But, of course, for the Fantasy one, you get more for your dollar is the only thing. So people that can't afford the James Charles one, as of right now, this is an amazing dupe. So for right now, we are done with the eyes. Um, We will come back and do some on the lower lashes once the whole face is done. But I'm going to get some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and done with my mascara. For that, I use the L'Oreal Telescopic. And like I say in most of my videos, if you guys have short, curly eyelashes like me, this is your best bet because it doesn't hit the top of your lids because the wand is so small. I do apologize because right now I'm still not good at putting false lashes on and I really don't want to try to put them on just to jeopardize this look. So for today, we're just going to go without them. So I'm going to move on from my face. I will let you know everything that I am using, but for this part, we are going to kind of speed through it just so we can get back to the end and do the lower lashes with these two palettes. So for primer, I'm using the Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed. This foundation has been my go-to. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte. Mine is in the shade Classic Ivory. Take my flat top foundation brush by BS Small. Go back on my beauty sponge just to kind of blend that out a little more.
Now that that's blended, I'm going back on my CoverGirl concealer. Going back on my Anesthetica Beauty Sponge to blend that out. I'm going to take the other end of that beauty sponge, which I had the foundation on, and just blend all that out a little more. Okay, to set that and bronze, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster Palette. Using the first shade, of course, to set all that highlight. For this, I'm taking a concealer brush by BS Small. So for bronzer today, I'm taking the middle shade and the bottom shade, mixing them two together, using a face angled brush by BS Small to do that. Moving on for blush, I'm using the Koki Trio Blush Palette, and I'm going with this middle shade right here. I'm using a flat angled brush by BS Small. Highlighter, I'm using my Wet n Wild, and this shade is called Golden Flower Crown. I'm using a Morphe brush um, to highlight my cheekbones. Okay, now that the face is done, we're going to go back in with the eyeshadow palettes. So for the James Charles one, I'm going back in with the shade Mary. I'm using a JH43 brush. It's a very pointy, almost like an eyebrow brush, but it's not angled. It's straight all the way across. Very... I'm carefully going to tight line my waterline. Like I want it super, super, super close. Back into my color switch. Going with this shade in the Fantasy palette. Doing the exact same thing, keeping it super, super close to my waterline. Okay, so first things first, I am noticing in the Fantasy palette that it has dragged itself down a little bit. Unlike the Morphe, it was really pigmented and really close to the waterline. Now we are going to go back in with the shade Tune. For that, I'm just using a small bunny brush by Morphe. And we're going to put that directly under the shade Mary. Just very, very lightly. Going back on my color switch. Picking up this color in the Fantasy palette, doing the same exact thing on that other eye. Okay, guys, I'm going to add some um, mascara to the lower lashes, and then I think we are officially done. For lips today, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, lip liner. This is in the shade T Rose. And for my liquid lipstick, I'm going with the Infallible Pro Matte. This is in the shade Candyman. Okay, you guys. Yes, and I think this is the final look. I'm going to give you guys a close-up. Um, you can be the judges for yourself and let me know how much you think they're alike. If you don't think they're alike, if you like one or the other, um, let me know in the comment box below. you guys I forgot to do one thing I forgot to do the inner corner highlight so back into the James palette I'm going to pick up the second color and this shade is called highlight I'm using a JH42 brush I'm just going to pop that right in the inner corner and this highlight is super super powerful you guys like it's amazing same shade in the fantasy palette second shade over that right in the inner corner okay. um the James Charles definitely has it for the highlight one, just because if you can see, look how much more pigmented and powerful that is compared to the fantasy one. So the James Charles definitely takes it for the highlight color. And now I'm actually going to set my face. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is a limited edition one. You guys, I've been wearing this for the last few days and I 
absolutely love it. Like I'm not really into wearing setting sprays. Like I do if I'm really feeling like I'm going to be out all night or going to be out all day and I need it. Other than that, I really don't use it, but I have been using this and let me tell you, I love it. I wore it all day yesterday from like the early mornings of like nine o'clock all the way to like nine o'clock last night. And let me tell you, my makeup did not move. I was sitting in the outside. I was sweating for hours. Like it really held to everything together and it's really, really good. Yeah, so let me know in the comment box below if you guys enjoyed this video. If you like me doing dupes, let me know and I would definitely do more of them. Um, so for my perspective, the fantasy one is much cheaper and it performs just as well. There was a couple in the James Charles one that were a little bit more pigmented, a little bit brighter, a little bit more vibrant. But other than that, I mean, it's a fraction of the price for the fantasy one. It's definitely worth it. I mean, the James Charles mini is only $26 and it is the same size as the fantasy one. But right there, you're saving at least $14. And, you know, I'm a bargain shopper and I'm sure a lot of people are. So my go, I probably want to repurchase the James Charles one again. I would probably just repurchase the fantasy one because I like to spend my money on things that I feel are invaluable to me. So I feel like the Chanel fantasy one is important and it's valuable. So if you don't have it, get your hands on it. You can do so many different looks with it. Even on my channel already, I think I've done close to five looks with it. Um, I'm not talking bad about the Morphe one. No, I absolutely love it. Um, if it wasn't so much money, I think I would probably buy a hundred of them. But um, the pigments there and the Morphe, the pigments good. Um, everything's really good with it. I think for me, I would just prefer the cheaper one because if you look, you can't really tell the difference. I mean, I will um, wear it all day and see how it lasts because sometimes with the cheaper palettes, they kind of wear off a lot easier. Um, with the Morphe, I have worn a couple different Morphe palettes and I know the shadows have lasted me all day long. So we're going to do a wear test and kind of see how it wears. And I will leave a comment in the description box letting you guys know how it lasted all day. If I liked it, if I didn't like it, I'm going to stop rambling on now and I'm going to let you guys get back to your day. But thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.